WBBJ 7 Eyewitness News reporter Jordan Hall takes us to this day of service. Behind this brick and mortar, Thank you. lives are being changed. Robert Lewis, Psalm 118, 24 says, This is a day the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad. Amen. Amen. Robert Wynn is just one of the patrons who enters the doors of Rifa's Soup Kitchen each day. I just come to talk to people and get a meal. But Monday, as the serving line opened up on schedule, there were some volunteers serving for a special reason. We're here to serve all, so, um, and being that that was one of Dr. King's dreams, you know, and in his speech, um, we're here to provide just that. The women of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated flooded the kitchen wearing pink and green to pass out meals in honor of Dr. King's mission. One of our national um, programs deals with uh, hunger and helping those that are in need of food. Some call this a place of spiritual growth. Sometimes it's better for your spirit when you just communicate with people in a godly setting and just be joyous with them. It helps you through all issues of life. All about the people. Wynn says he graduated from Jackson's East High School when students were still segregated, but coming to the kitchen proves the racist barrier continues to break down. Things have changed, really changed though since then, you know. We've come a long way, I'll put it that way. And as another day wraps up in Rifa's kitchen, volunteers say Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. would be proud. In Midtown Jackson, Jordan Hall, WBBJ7 Eyewitness News.